what's up guys? Today we are going to prepare pork crackling or what they call in Philippines as lechon kawalit. So stay tuned! Okay, let's start with the prep. Of course, we'll be needing the pork belly. It's been cleaned a while ago. We'll be needing two onions, two bulbs of garlic. We'll be using salt, any kind of salt will do. Cool peppercorn. We'll be using bay leaves. cooking oil and of course last but not the least the fish sauce or the patties okay so let's begin okay so what we'll do we'll just cut the onions into half it's okay skin on would be fine same goes the same with the garlic cut it into half put everything in the pot Three bay leaves and a generous amount of uh, peppercorn, and uh, we'll put the uh, cooking oil. Cooking oil is not open yet. So. I normally put it in my palm so I would know how much I've been tasting already. And of course, our patties. And then we'll just mix everything with. Few moments later. The water. And then we're ready to go. We just have to boil this one before we put the meat. So once it started to boil, we're ready to put the meat. And then uh, we just have to cover it. Approximately it's gonna take around one and a half to two hours before it's going to be tender. If the water would be coming low, then we'll just have to put a little more later. Okay, so we'll see later. Okay, so on this stage, you could see that uh, it's already been starting to boil. And uh, we need to taste if it is that's salty enough. The flavor is already there, but the saltiness is not that much. So we're going to be adding up a little more salt in it. Wow, the man! Wow! The taste should be really salty in order for the uh, flavor to go inside the meat. The thickness of the pork is somewhere around two inches and then around five, five, five inches width. So if you don't put that much salt on it, it's not going to be tasty on the middle part. Don't worry, it's not going to be that salty. In fact, we are going to be putting some more salt once the tendering of the meat is done. So we'll be continuing in it, maybe another 30 minutes.
So it's been 30 minutes now that we have been boiling the meat. So what we'll do now is we're going to try to poke on the skin. Not thoroughly, it's just around one centimeter deep in order for the uh, flavor to come in. And also for the skin to pop out later. Could be a nice pop we'll be seeing later if we do this one. To soak in cooked oil. <laughs> Gago! Okay, so now we're already done with the uh, flavoring of the meat and see how soft it is now. You can easily poke the skin and even the meat is also very soft and tender. So we'll just have to let it dry up, dehydrate it a little bit, we'll just let it cool down on the air and then later on just put it back on the fryer. Okay, before we do the frying, we will be dehydrating the meat. We'll put it in the oven, put it at 250 degrees, and then maybe around 15 to 30 minutes, uh, we will be checking out whether the skin would be a little bit roasted. So right after that, that's the only time that we will do the frying. Okay, we'll check it out later. Okay, so 15 minutes after, you can see that the, uh, the skin is a little bit roasted. We still have to roast a little more. It has to be a little bit gummy in order for us to make it pop later. So maybe another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so now we have achieved the uh, texture of the skin that we needed. It's rubbery, nothing crunchy, nothing special yet. So this is the moment, we will do the frying already and then we will see, hopefully it pops perfectly. So, we've finally reached the end part of the show. After three long hours that we have prepared it, I'm pretty sure this is going to be something worthwhile. Sulit, I mean, very, very delicious. No wonder why this is the first food that will be ever finished in any servings, even for festivities or even if you're going to be drinking with your friends, I'm pretty sure. This one would be the top notch. So until the next video, thank you very much for watching. Shout out to Sir Bessa Manila and Chef JC. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.